Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm logged in a little bit early to try to get everyone on before we start this lovely interview today. Um, I'm coming live from Women for the Culture. Um, if you have not um, followed, um, follow today, share, like, um, and spread the news about the Instagram and the website. Hi. We're just gonna wait for a couple minutes for everybody to get on, and especially our special guest today, Jelana. So as soon as she gets on, um, we will start. This is awesome. Hi. <laughs> I'm still having coffee, y'all. So y'all gotta excuse me. So how's everybody holding up in the quarantine? If everybody being productive, y'all excuse my nails. I'm waiting for my little uh, kit to come through. Um, so I'm going to have to be very careful with my hands because I'm working with six nails, y'all. Let's see who all is here. Um, this amazing woman has actually launched a business, a brand new business in the midst of um, this pandemic. And... Um, she is thriving. She's doing great. Welcome, welcome, everybody. So, we wait a couple more minutes for people to get on. Just waiting. Um... Let's see. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, hello. <laughs> I, I had to get myself together this morning. Um, let's see. I'm waiting for her to join. Um. So she's about to get on in a second, guys. So I'm excited. Um, she's taken her talents and created this amazing space. So it's a great business right now. It's very much so needed. Waiting for her to get on. So as soon as she gets on, I'm going to invite her. We're good to go. Hopefully everyone's afternoon is going great. Um, we have some storms here right now, but um, hopefully, you know, that'll pass. We had a tornado touchdown here in Virginia, so if it's not one thing, it's another, as the people, the folks used to say. And waiting for her. She should be on in a second. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Renee. Lord, this hair. Let me know if my hair look okay, guys. Okay, great. She's on, guys. Y'all ready? She about to blow us away. Just waiting for her to, to send her invite request. Oh, my gosh. She is here. The lady of the hour. Hi, girl. Let's see. I need to add you. Girl. 
thank you, Renee. It took me three days. How, you are gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Like, wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Go ahead, girl. How you? Now, ma'am, first of all, listen, I'm working off of six nails and a hey, twist look. out that took me three days. Look, and you, you don't even want to see like the, the growth in these nails. Girl. It's How you crazy. just come over here looking like a superstar? Okay. Well, I had to be, I had to come on and show out for you. Now, don't. You don't did. <laughs> this is not my normal get up walking around here. I am bonded. Tied, no earrings, <laughs> hair's crazy. So yeah, this is all special for you. Yeah, this... Thank you, girl. Well, you are uh, an amazing woman. Um, so let's let's start by telling everybody about yourself, what your main businesses was, but leave that extra special thing that you just did okay. at the end. Okay. Okay. So I am yes. a Duana Faulkner. Um, so most people know me as the China Connect. And the China Connect is an actual business and my moniker as well. But I um, connect businesses with suppliers and vendors in China for products and or services. And I do this through um, vendor services. They can get custom supplier lists created depending on the business they, they, they have. Yes. And we also take them to China with our teams twice a year. And we visit markets in Yiwu. Um, we've got several people who have Amazon stores. So Yiwu is one of those cities Ooh. where you buy any and all commodity that you would ever want to buy. Or we go to other cities like Shenzhen and Guangzhou if they have other types of um, businesses like beauty, perhaps they're into electronics, kids wear, kids gear, toys, um, paper goods, planners, journals, things like that. So we create these custom tour experiences for entrepreneurs. We bring them with us to China twice a year. And my other business, actually the first business is First business is a bridal design firm that I own called Jelana Marie Bridal. And we create custom wedding dresses. I started working with Chinese manufacturers to produce my gowns. And that kind of led me into helping other entrepreneurs Ooh. through the China Connect. So that's, that's who I am. And all my crazy businesses. Go ahead. Yes. Now drop it on us what you just launched. Okay. So oh, as y'all probably know or can, can and expect, the impact on my China Connect business was immediate with COVID. And this started back in January because we had a tour plan for March. And oh, the wow. moment I started seeing all of the, um, you know, issues going on with the uh, mm -hmm. virus, I thought, oh, my God, this may have an impact. We may not be able to travel because I thought China would be cut, you know, cu cut off from the rest of the world because of the virus. Well, little did right. I expect or know that this virus is going to explode. Not only would China be cut off from the world, but the world would be cut off from the world. I mean, <laughs> oh yes, this so, is it. Yeah, just completely unexpected um, impacts on the business. So I was thinking, you know, I've got to find a way to pivot. I've got to find a way to um, creatively recoup revenue and to still be in business, no matter what that looks like. So um, through my connections and my network, I started to think, well, how can I serve during this crisis? And of course, I knew from working with my team there that mask and a lot of PPE for individuals was going to be in short supply. So back in February, I started putting together a plan to launch a personal um, protective equipment 
company. That company is now Health Gear Now. And we supply masks and face shields, gloves to individuals and families, as well as some businesses. But that business has literally exploded over the course of the past couple of weeks. I can barely keep up. It is just completely, I mean, because that's what everyone, where everyone's focus is now. And so it's been amazing. It's really been amazing. So you just evolved, adapted, and, you know, re changed your course because of what was what the market was. So yep. let me ask you this. When you uh -oh. um, initially started the, can you, we're good? Yes. When you initially started the, your health care now, health gear now, right? Mm -hmm. Did you, like, did you imagine in your wildest dreams that it would have, you know, exploded like this? Or did you think it was going to be slow and steady? I thought it would be slow and steady. Um, I did not anticipate that the United States would outpace every other country in terms of COVID cases, COVID deaths. I never anticipated that we would have the same level of lockdown and guidance that China had because everyone thought that was the epicenter. Like it couldn't get any worse than that, right? We, we never thought that. But um, that was initially, but I kind of, um, I kind of had a jump on the industry because I'm a part of a mm -hmm. network of other suppliers and manufacturers. And as part of that, we were all keeping an eye on what was going on with the supply chain. And there was a doctor, an infectious disease doctor in that network who gave us this heads up and basically said, guys, we're in for at least three months of turmoil, complete work stoppage. And if there's anything that you can do to clear your pipeline and start supplying what the demand will be, which will be these masks and other PPE, then you'll be ahead of the game. So I kind of had a, a bit of a head start. I took the risk. I put up, I don't know, maybe five grand that I had saved for a rainy day. So imagine my uh, nervousness around tapping into my <clears throat> fund to start this, you know, company where I didn't I didn't know where the virus or the demand was gonna go. So I took a huge risk and it's paid off. Because I know people right now, they don't, it's a risk to take a hundred dollars and, you know, pay for your domain for the year, you know, oh so yes. you, I you am took a leap of faith. I am a one year, one year domain person, okay? I don't pay for five years. <laughs> That's me. So I don't do that. <laughs> mm -hmm. But like, that's you know, a lot of people we do that. You know, we, it's twelve twelve dollars for the year. I'm gonna pay this twelve dollars for the year. Exactly. You no, know, exactly. and then, <laughs> when it comes back around, I'm gonna think about it. Then I'm gonna pay that twelve dollars. So I get it. So. Yeah. Yeah. My question is this: You had you are you had a bridal design business, right? Did you have brides that were planning on getting married or had designs for you to create during this time? What? Yes. Okay, listen. <laughs> if I, I was a bride, and all of a sudden my wedding stuff got like, how did you handle dealing with that in the midst of all of these changes? So. You know, luckily, because I work with manufacturers in China all the time, I knew that I needed to get all of my Q1 projects in and out by mid-January mm -hmm. before Chinese New Year hit. So just with a little bit of planning, I was able to get those dresses that needed to be completed in uh, February, March, and April out the door. So, but I had other brides that came to me in January and February who were getting mm -hmm. married in April, May, and June. So we started on their projects. And now their weddings have been pushed off. Um, we're having to do some creative things, financially speaking, so that they can just take care of their families and they're not having to pay, you know, the two or $3,000 balance that they had on their dresses. So it's a snowball effect for real because not only am I caught in a lurch because now my suppliers are like, 
this dress is ready or we're halfway done with this dress. What do you want us to do? Um, I could go ahead and pay to have those dresses finished, but then my business takes a hit because I don't know if these brides are going to be able to pay. Yes, for dresses. you know, are there weddings going to be rescheduled? So we're having to really get creative and everybody, this whole supply chain, everybody's having to be forgiving with everybody um, because I can't pay the suppliers what they on their payment schedule the dresses aren't going to ship at the right on the right schedule so it's just really been a, a, a conundrum all around and even from the wedding industry perspective just think about this you've got caterers venue owners planners yes. florists uh, designers everybody who's involved in the wedding if there was a balance due and normally for services your balance isn't due until the wedding day day of yep. has been canceled pushed out postponed with no effective date so these people are not being, not being paid and you can't with good conscience collect on that balance i mean so yeah it's got to be some grace so people actually have to and this is what i said um about right now we have to start we are in a in a in a situation where we actually we have to think with our hearts and not that bottom line you know so you it's like we have to to, to kind of allow for grace and understanding and understand yeah. that we're still people we're doing business but we're still people at the same time so yes. I'm, i see that well you do do the china con Next, right mm -hmm. so how are you are you planning for that to come back or i mean what 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 was your process with those with the tours so i wanted to um lead with expertise and i wanted to create a sense of calm and controlled uh response with my tour participants mm -hmm. um our cohort for for the marches tour i mean we had some corporations that were sending individuals over to source for you know 50 plus locations and oh. yeah so it wasn't just individuals even though that's my target audience we actually had corporations that were like well let's let's see if we can find better pricing so i wanted to a be a source of um authority a source of information early and often so i started funneling out information about what we knew what was coming out back in january and he was more what prepared I, than all never mind go ahead I, <laughs> you were more prepared than our, than our leadership yes ma'am and so. i take that compliment <laughs> because i i took this seriously and i knew that yeah. So things are run so differently in China. I do think that they probably, you know, fudge the numbers a little bit. That is a conversation for mm -hmm. another time. But I knew it was serious. You know, people were dying by the droves. So I knew it was serious. So I wanted to get ahead of it early. And so what I did, instead of canceling the tour, which would you know, could potentially open you up for a lot of different things. I gave them the option of deferring yeah. to the fall tour or even next year's tour. Now, some That's people, smart. yeah, I was trying to not say, here's my checkbook, let's just write everybody a refund. Because at that time, it wasn't where it is now. But I would say about half of the tour participants requested just a complete refund because they're nervous, they're not sure, or they need the capital back in their business. I mean, everyone else is kind of taking a wait and see approach because they know that ultimately th that's where they need to go. They to still need the business. tour. They still need the tour. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, they mm -hmm. still need the tour. Yeah. And so I've been really trying to nurture those um, customers more high touch than I do my normal email list. Just sending emails to check in. How are you doing? Um, here, here's a free pack of masks for you and your family. 
know, from the Healthcare Now team, just really trying to keep them engaged and keep me top of mind for them in terms of their tour needs. So, yeah, it's been a whole, a whole. That's that business from the heart right there. Yeah. Yeah. So I will say this because not a lot of businesses are, you know, giving those those guidances that even though they're you know, you're you're giving them a tour but also kind of giving guiding them on how to function as a business you know to do the planning for disasters and stuff like that um you're actually learning how to do that and making sure that you're able to um uh, kind of go with the flow of the market and that's an added aspect of your business because you're essentially becoming um, a crisis coach, you know, teaching them how to kind of go with, with the market, go with the flow, plan and understand what's going to happen. Absolutely. Like this is something unintentional that actually so happened, but you may have found another niche market that, you know, you, you could tap into when you come, when everything comes back to normal, you know, or, or quote unquote, the new normal. The new um, normal. Yeah. In regards, yeah. yeah, the new normal. So, in regards to your um, health, health gear and how are um, hospitals? And are they are at small like um, urgent cares or small practices? How are they able? How are they um, find? Are they able to find you, create accounts and stuff like that with you? Or is it you know? Or what is your actual target market? Is it everybody for the health gear? Well, no, it's not everyone. However, right now, yes, we are servicing anyone that is in the. I would say 80% of the sales have been to individuals and families. And that is our target market. When I think about long term, what does the what does healthcare now look like? We already mm -hmm. have a collection of PPE, you know, plan to develop over the next few months because this will this has this is going to become its own industry. I don't think I'll ever yeah. travel without a mask or without a face shield of some sort so coming up with travel packs and different bundles you know that individuals can purchase on an ongoing basis is one aspect so yes our focus is the individual however we've definitely secured some corporate um, purchases here in the past week we started focusing locally on businesses here i'm in the memphis area so there are some businesses that mm -hmm. are still open restaurants cleaning services security guard companies and we've supplied they're gonna need that mm -hmm. yeah and these are companies that normally don't have a need don't have an inroads already to obtain ppe when you think about hospitals and urgent care centers ppe is is mm -hmm. a part mm -hmm. of what they do so we haven't necessarily worked with any healthcare organizations, although we do donate masks to them. And there's an option on our mm -hmm. website for people to donate masks to certain organizations. Our primary target is the individual and small businesses. That is perfect because what what really um, I've found for myself and my family, I've been looking into um, the protective, the PPE, the, the mm -hmm. protective gear because of the fact that like, you know, um, even with children, like, even though my oldest is about to be 18, but my youngest is 13, and it's like, don't touch anything, you know, <laughs> let's just get you all, like, we have the face mask, we have, I'm, like, putting the filters in, and I'm trying to get them together, but it's like, they don't want to, kids, and mm -hmm. it's like, it's a it's a struggle, because they don't, you know, they don't understand how, how major it is, you know, yeah. and then you have the macho men who think that I'm invincible, no, 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 you're not. So with the, with the small businesses and the individuals, um, there's so many options that you offer. There's so many things that, you know, so as a, for me as a small business, are there any, um, any suggestions that you can um, give me so that I can know what to buy and know mm -hmm. what to keep stock for myself? Um, and do you offer that via your site that you suggest, this is what I suggest 
if you do this, this is what you should buy? That's a great, great question. Um, we have bundles that are currently mm -hmm. on the site and it's um, individual packs of masks. There's a family pack of masks. But one of the things that we're releasing this week is exactly what you mentioned is our, our purchase recommendations for the individual and for the small business. So when you think about like you, you, you have two sons, you said? I have two sons, a daughter and a, an older, older, well, my husband, but he's an older, older, um, older child. Mm -hmm. Okay. So family or family is four or five, <laughs> <laughs> right. Five, uh, yes. <laughs> I have a 42 year old. Okay. I, I totally get it. Girl, they um, just broke so fast. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we have some um, family packs that will include face shields and face masks. Now, this is the one thing I want to ask you. Have you guys been wearing gloves or are you a hand sanitizer, just wash your hands both. kind of person? Mm -hmm. I do both. And I have the dial gold dial soap. Um, okay. my, my skin may be dry as I don't know what, but listen, there's uh -huh. nothing living on them. Exactly. Now, when you go to the grocery store, are you gloving it up or don't just, yeah. And that's actually, we, we, we don't go to the grocery store no more. You don't? You just um, do delivery? I actually do deliveries or I pick up, you know, they put the stuff in the trunk. Hey, bye. They check me in via the phone, the app, through the window. Y'all scan it. Don't about your business. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you for my food. Goodbye. Um, awesome. There is really like, Listen, I can't, cause I'll be dead. I I can't bury nobody right now. I can't do I it. Know. I know. I'm, I'm made for it's it. Scary. It is really scary. But you know, we have suggestions that are based on what the CDC recommends. And mm -hmm. really, right now, the CDC doesn't necessarily recommend that you wear gloves. Because that makes um, no sense. Well, because of the possibility of cross contamination, if you think about it, when you're wearing gloves, you're still using your hands like you normally would. So you're touching your phone, you're picking up your keys. But you got to take them off. Okay. You have to take them off immediately. Most people are not, or or not in the mindset of how to properly right wear that. So what about like for your cell phones and stuff like that? Is there a cover that people can purchase to do that? Like a disposable, like, cause I can do, I can do a Ziploc bag, but is there mm -hmm. anything that they can actually get that could, you know, disposable things for that other than a Ziploc bag? Cause I, people look at you funny when you do that. Um, yes, I'm girl. Just, I, I'd be asking you to tie it on the Ziploc <laughs> bag up to your head. <laughs> um, so we don't currently have any... <laughs> cell phone protection products yet however i am certain in the next couple of months that will mm -hmm. be the next thing um but right now we just recommend that you after every every interaction every time you wash your hands wash your cell mm -hmm. phone just get a, a antibacterial wipe i just use hand sanitizer and i rub it on my phone and wipe it off with a paper towel just that simple. Listen, you know those little little packets. Like I know, like I had a whole basket of them of the Purell wipes, and mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna need this for because everybody's like, you can throw that mess away. I don't throw stuff away <laughs> because I knew. I, I'm sorry, I'm a hoarder. Don't judge me, but I knew those little hand sanitizer uh wipes and stuff were a great were a great thing to have. You know, because. Mm -hmm. It's like people blow their nose and just before all this happened, people are just nasty. So I kept them in my purse or in a basket at home and I just put a couple in my purse here and there or if I go somewhere and there's a basket, okay, I take the whole basket, but that's the size of what is there. It's free. It's for mm -hmm. me. So, I mean, are those type, those are the types of things that people need to understand. Like how much do you touch your face and your mouth after you've touched a doorknob is it just makes me sick it's think about crazy it. it's crazy i was gonna show you um something hold on one second oh here it is i want to show you something that 
we have that helps you not touch your face. And this is probably my favorite thing. Now, I'm still going out like a fool to the grocery store because... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Order that food. I know you want to pick your pack some meat and things. But, well, our um, delivery mm -mm. time is like three days now. So you have to like order your stuff mm -mm. in three days. So this is what I wear when I go to the grocery store. I wear my face shield. Now, you know somebody going to bling that out, right? Of course, they need to. Like this part. <laughs> Put a logo on it. They're going to be if with the face shield. I like that. Yes. And I don't have a mask yeah. nearby, but I wear my face shield and my mask. And this just keeps me from mindlessly touching my face. Because I've been touch my face a couple times during this live. Yes. You just, it's just what you do. Yeah. And I think Kevin said people aren't smart. <laughs> you you do have some people who just aren't thinking. They're just not used to being in this kind of environment. So that's why things like this. I think are going to be nice part. Flips up too. So if you need yes. to bless somebody out, you could just lift it up and let them have it and put it back down. That's, that's yes. beautiful. I like that. And it's, you know there's going to really be somebody deep. that's going to just either just put some graffiti on it or <laughs> girl, they're going to bling the things out. We're going to be fly, yes. but we're going to be protected. Oh, we're going to be fly. Right. And that's the next wave. Like right now, people are just trying to meet that security need. They just want to be safe. They just want to feel safe. But you know our people. Yes. Our culture. You know what's next. The yes. wings out, the prints, the patterns, the cord. Gotta be fly. You know. <laughs> ain't gonna have me out here. Thank you. Uh, yep. Because they're going interchangeable band and everything. Mm -hmm. So for those, that's a good idea. I love, the, I love the fact that there is protective gear that you know we can buy as a consumer to make sure our families are safe and i really like that right. you're easily like you're coming out with bundles with it's great so people mm -hmm. have to second get Um, so what is your usually around time of an order like your like, like hypothetically speaking like is it seven to ten days or what is your usual turnaround so right now the turn around time is about six mm -hmm. days just because everybody in the country who, who um, are receiving medical supplies, everything is like coming all at once. So there's this huge backlog of PPE coming into the oh, country. Wow. Plus you've got people, you've got um, resources that are limited with UPS, the US PS the postal service a lot of people are off they're not coming to work so you've got a, a perfect storm of long shipping time right now but right now on our website um if you purchase most of our new shipment will be here toward the end of the week and early next week and then we'll have a constant flow it's just this period of you know seven to ten days where everybody's shipments are delayed Everybody's placed right. their order. Everybody placed their order at the same time. Yeah, no, I'm one of them. My, yeah, exactly. Yeah, thank you. It, it's, it's, we're looking at UPS every, like, every hour. I'm like, where's my shipment? Where's my shipment? But I got a <laughs> I, 
I've got to have some grace with myself because as a business owner, as a service provider, you want to meet your customers' needs. You know, if you're ordering masks, obviously you need them. And I want to be able to ship them out right away. But I Yeah, a lot of people expect, like, I'm one of those people, mm -hmm. as soon as I hit submit, I'm waiting by the door. Yes. You know, as soon you as I hit submit, I, I say, where's my stuff? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so a lot of people do that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull up the website now. So I'm like, okay, because I'm okay. actually like one of those people that, you know, I love seeing like it's easy. Your website is very easy to peruse. It's very you. easy to, you know, to order from. I just want to, to reassure people that if you go to the website, you'll see that it's not, it's not hard. Um, it's very clear. It's very, like if I could, if you could see it, I don't think you can see it. It's very clear. Um, and it has great pictures. Y'all got a big, y'all, baseball cap shield. So, <laughs> see this? She already was ready. So you actually do came up. You do have an awesome, awesome site where people can subscribe. No, damn. So that's for the for the. So if somebody <laughs> don't want to, um. You know, look this basic. Look they can cool. buy the baseball cap, but see that looks great though, especially yeah, for these really macho cute. men who don't who don't want to wear stuff. Yep, that I'm is the key to that. Every time he goes out, he has to have his baseball cap on. Do you have the gloves with the ring cut out? No, I don't. What are those like with the for your wedding ring? You know, because there's white there's women out here who are cutting off the ring finger glove. So that people can see there's a ring right there. Like, I, I don't know. I saw the other day, somebody had posted, they had the glove on, but the one finger, the ring finger was cut off. And they, oh could, they could see that wedding ring. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. That's hilarious. Oh, that's people, hilarious. Now, listen, we got to accommodate that now. Like, <laughs> is there a gear? Is there one with a clear there, finger? I don't know. Clear finger, right. Clear finger gloves. There you go. There you go. I think you just, just helped me <laughs> get my next product in development. I Because <laughs> I can see it now. You're not going to go out here with your ring. Because I see you have the black gloves. You can't see nothing in those black gloves. Mm -hmm. So somebody either going to put their wedding ring on top of that or they're going to have that one finger out. So. <laughs> yep. I'm yeah. Just... I can't imagine. It's going to be so interesting to see all of the creative products that come out of this i have already seen the blinged out completely blinged out mask girl i, I i'm like the how order, are you uh, in that there's a there is a head wrap in a mask set that matches and i fell in love with it i'm like waiting for her to hit me back so i can order it because <laughs> listen i'm not gonna be going out the house looking basic but i'll be protected thank you yes thank you they, yeah, they got a whole a whole get up, yeah. I actually really like that. I'm waiting on so when winter time comes, I'm waiting on the winter hat and the scarf with the filter in it. So when you go outside and it's cold, you oh, don't have to wear an extra mask. I'm telling you, there's just a whole bunch of products that's you know coming out that I think is this is going to be a whole new industry. The PPE when you girl, PPE. you got me like okay. So then the winter time, I got my scarf. I'm gonna get my stuff together. Okay, so I can match my stuff up. I won't look crazy going, you know, to places with you know, because you're gonna see a whole sea of face masks and stuff at concerts yes. and stuff. So this is what it's gonna be. This is what you got to have to match your clothes. Like um, right now, it's not easy to do this to get masks in different colors, mm -hmm. disposable masks in different colors. Just because the everyone's focusing right. on just the knee. But I would love to, because I'm a disposable mask person. I just want to take it off. Like, as soon as I come back, I don't even want to bring it in the house. And throw it away, yes. Take yeah. the... <coughs> yeah. That makes sense. So, there's a, um, we're developing a uh, pack of colored masks. So you'll have your black, your green, your purple, your red, your yellow to coordinate with whatever color you're wearing. So I'm excited about that. But as I said, it's a whole new I love the fact. I'm in love with it because you know you know your consumer because we we're not um 
Exactly, the flunky mask, because I see the baseball yes. cap one. Get ahead cool. of it, make it I now. Think exactly. that, I think that the way that you are going about this is absolutely perfect. I think that the way that you, um, that you're looking at it, this is a whole new industry, but you, you got ahead of it and you claimed you, you, you it launched it perfectly. You know, there's no, um, there's no gray area. People, you know, your site is clean, concise, and everything. And plus, you Thank know you. your consumer. You know your market, which is amazing. Because how do you know us going to be blowing down on this enough space? You got so many options on your website. Um, they don't have just the, um, you know, the the medical um, gloves. It's the black one, so it's sleek. It doesn't look as off-putting as everything else. So I'm, I am, I am in awe of you as a bit, as a multi, as a serial entrepreneur. I am in awe of you because I'm like, girl, you, you, you after my heart with this one because <laughs> as a business owner. As an entrepreneur, we always have to adapt and evolve to meet our cons our customers' needs. And that I mean, I've had to do it, and I'm happy, and I'm so thankful that you were able to evolve into something that you know can benefit us all. Yes. Um, so when you launch your affiliate program, so that we can sign up. Got it all. Oh, I'm just gonna throw that out there real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Already have an affiliate program. We just need to lock it in. So, how about after this live, I'll send you your coupon code and all of the terms of the affiliate program. Um, we're doing that actually with the YWCA here in Memphis. Um, mm -hmm. Anyone that purchases a pack of masks to donate to the Y, the Y gets 5%. So in a way, Ooh. they're a nonprofit affiliate, but that's how the program typically works. So yeah, we're excited about that. And we're trying to onboard other organizations So, if you guys, I have a list. You know, I represent a lot. <laughs> you represent some nonprofits. Yes, I do. Oh I do. Gosh. I'm actually on the board of one. And um, wow. yes, I yes, I have a couple clients who are nonprofits. I'm okay. connected. There's a lot of them that are on this live right now. So, oh and God. one of them has a. Kevin has a business where he services people who are unable to get out. He actually has a CNA, like he has those things. So this wow. is a great. Okay. Yes, it's definitely the funky. It's definitely a business that will definitely be connecting with you because this is what he does. He actually goes out and runs errands for people. He does housework oh. for people. He does. He's that extra pair of hands that everyone needs mm -hmm. so most definitely that is a, a like that would be my contribution is you know to do Please. raise for him because he's putting himself at risk to make sure our loved ones are taken care of taken so care of. and that's another business that i work like i i really appreciate hey kevin i'm sorry i put you on the spot but hey, it is kevin. what it is <laughs> and then there's um there's so many other Um, Proverbs that are actually, um, you know, we have uh, Renee. She's uh, she has a catering company where they deliver. Um, um, so it's so many people that are on here that you know would definitely, definitely who.
definitely need to hear about your service and definitely need to hear about your business. But it's also to know, know that being a serial entrepreneur, there's so many things. There's curveballs coming. You just knocked it out the park. And, and I'm the girl. Yeah. You are amazing. Like, I can't even, Thank I can't you. even wrap my mind around it because it's like, you went from bridal, you were giving, um, doing the China tours and showing other entrepreneurs or mm -hmm. businesses how to get their best prices. And then you, then you have launched something that everybody needs and will be, we will continue to need. So you, you, you're a mogul already. Like, this is exactly what mogul the mindset is. <laughs> yes. So. Uh, but yes. you know what? I'm going to tell you that <clears throat> this is probably healthier now. It's probably ooh, the eighth or ninth business that I have mm -hmm. stepped into. And I don't know if you have read the book um, by Malcolm Gladwell, where he talks about you having to put in 10,000 hours into any discipline in order to become an expert. Oh. And Honestly, I feel like this is my 10,000th hour. Yes. And the way that it came together, the decision-making process that went into it, the, the no hesitation, the ability to take that leap and to line up things that, you know, have now fallen into place. That to me is just my expertise, all of that, all of those businesses that I started that made it, some made it, some didn't. All, all of that, I think, has come together at this moment in time. And just so happened, it also came together during the time of the coronavirus and during the time where people needed these services and these products. So um, just a word of encouragement to any other entrepreneur, especially a serial entrepreneurs who yes. have ideas all the time, um, your ideas won't always work. They won't always make they money. They won't. <laughs> sometimes, but sometimes you, know, you, you do it for the love of it, though. It. Yes, you do it for the love of it, and then you do it until what you do works. You do it until it finally works. And this is one of those moments in time where things, are just the puzzle piece is locked in place. So, yes, it's... Um, it was perfect. It was divine. And this is where mm -hmm. I think, because I'm more... I'm more um, I'm more inclined to buy from someone who who looks like me, who understands me, who, you know, who can understand where I'm coming from. So I think mm -hmm. that's where I think the connection comes into doing business. I know a lot of people say that's not true. But for me, and being that, you know, we do have kind of a, um, um, a like a, a breakdown with the healthcare profession, professionals, yeah. sometimes they don't understand if we're in pain, they, so there are certain things. So if I'm getting protection gear from someone who is like-minded or like myself, I feel more comfortable. So that's the, mm -hmm. the plus side. And I really appreciate seeing you on the website. I know it's not some ghost person selling um, yes. stuff that came off the back of a truck or, you know <laughs> what I'm saying, it's not reputable. And I love that fact. And I mean, what? I'm just going to be honest with you. A lot of people don't say say exactly what they mean, but at least I know it's coming from a person who who sees what I, you, who understands that like, I need to make sure I'm buying this from somebody who cares. So right. I yeah. really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. So, and thank you for mentioning you, the, the picture because I was conflicted on whether or not to include that. But, and my business partner was like, I'm so skeptical now. You don't need to be on the website. Like you don't need to, cause this is, you're not a you health, do. you don't have a health background. What do you, you know, people may say, what do you know about PPE? But it's not about PPE. It's about my, first of all, the connections where I can get the, the supply where typically no mm -hmm. one else is able to. But then it's about me as an individual, as a mom, a parent, a daughter, me as a person. I just want to serve other persons. And if it were me, I would want to see who is behind, like you said, who's behind these products. And I'm well, have me out and find nothing off the back of the truck. Exactly. Yep. I, I just thought, you know, I need to be face forward and center front because I want to connect with you, the person who is also like me, 
needing these supplies. So yeah, I'm glad that you mm -hmm. found that valuable to be um, on the for me to be on the website. Yeah. So okay, so we're gonna wrap up today. Um, this um, I I just think this was so great. Like I was kind of nervous, like oh my gosh, because I had a lot of my questions together and everything. Uh -huh. But I like the fact that you're personable in everything, and I love your brain. And um, this is a new market for us all. So tell us where we can find you, and let's know what we need to do. Yay. Thank you so much for having me and for your awesome audience. Um, all the energy. You were great. This is actually my first Instagram live. So really? I, it is. I've done podcasts and all of that stuff, but this is my first one. So thank you for bearing with me because I was like, what? How do I get on here? Are you going to call me? You were like, no. You are so <laughs> welcome. I was like, this, this <laughs> is my first one hosting. <laughs> Yeah, normally I just um, <coughs> normally I let the duo Instagram take over. I never do the interviews, so this is something that I'm I'm getting used to now for okay. uh, being a correspondent for Women for the Culture. So, but awesome. when I saw your press packet, I was like, I have to I have to jump on this because one, you're a serial entrepreneur like me, and then two, it's like, girl, you I was so proud. Like you know, I'm one of these people. Like I cheer for everybody. <laughs> But, like, I'm like, this girl better do it. Because it's like, <laughs> people don't understand. Like, it's that entrepreneurial spirit that we got to get on. We have to show. Have to, so yes. this was an honor for me to have you, like, to have you. Like, you I'm so like, much. we got to talk to her today. <laughs> yes. Thank you so, so much. So um, you guys can find me on Instagram at the China Connect or health gear now um also on the internet at the china connect.com or healthgearnow.com thank you so much um so i will be uh contacting here. you after this <laughs> please I, i'm thank gonna you. wait on you to either call me or hop in my dm because i think for individuals that serve the community in any kind of way mm -hmm. i want to put a link on there on our site today where people can purchase masks and we're shipping them directly to that organization so um, oh, that would be so amazing. Would love to get that. That okay. would be so amazing. We're going to talk in a minute. Thank you, guys. Your audience. Yes. Awesome. Thank you so, so much. Oh, you're welcome. Talk to you soon. Okay. Talk to you later. Bye. All right. Bye. -bye. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in today. Um, this is Chandra Gore signing off for Women for the Culture. Please be sure to follow and like and share the live. Thank you. Have a great day.